Yeah. What about resources? Because your team needs resources. What's the responsibilities there for maintenance manager? Yeah, there's a few things that come to mind. I mean, you you got to be able to do a really uh, activity-based budget or a zero-based budget, so you really know exactly what all your activities are and what they cost. Uh, they might take a little time to do. I should learn how to do that, but you got to be able to prioritize projects and say these are the things that are going to make things better in the future. Um, and and I think that's a, a also the thing about what. What emergencies do we need to work on today? Because there's always going to be few of them, even you know, as they do more preventive maintenance, there should mm -hmm. be less. But also working on the things that actually make it better in the future. So that is the balance. You cannot just cut everything out that's going to get better in the future. And, and I'm talking about the preventive maintenance, you know, improving how you plan and schedule. If you don't work on that and just fix stuff every day, of course, you, you're not going to get any better. You're stuck in that loop um, yeah. that we call circle of despair, but that's another video. <laughs>
think that's something that in my own experience, I actually got a lot of support to do all that or mm -hmm. in, in, in terms of coaching and uh, you know training. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's easy to forget. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is part of our um, lead, uh, series about different roles. We talked about maintenance supervisor, reliability engineer, so those videos are here. So if you like this, please subscribe and don't remember, don't forget to click the little uh, bell button so you get notifications when when we have new videos. Thank you for listening.